Okay, hi guys. So Kian here, and this is going to be hopefully a short video for uh, notes on animation blocks two and three. So for block one, we can pretty much generate a quick and easy table for this. Basically what block one does is it provides a bone ID, which corresponds to a bone uh, name, and it generally goes from zero to 36 and skipping some in between. And then it sets uses bit flags to set binary or uses bit flags to define if the bone uh, is supposed to interpret position or rotation values. And it looks like if it has position, it has rotation, that all three are set when they are set. So uh, the root is both position and rotation. And then from there, it either has rotation or position values for each specific bone. Um, now, if we take each one of these bit flags, if we count this as one and just add up add all these individual bit flags, what we get is a total of uh, 63 bit flags. Now, if we look at block two, we find that block two has a length of exactly 63 bytes. So what we can basically uh, assume is that each one of these bytes has an associated, has an association with a bone uh, transformation, which is either going to be position or rotation, and an axis, and x, y, and z. So we know what they're associated with, but we don't know what exactly these bytes do. Um, and why they would do this or what is the point of this is um, completely um, baffling and insane to me. So let's open up the game and just do a quick testing. So we have our save state and Rio is walking normally um, in the save state. It might be kind of slow because I'm recording. So I can go ahead and into memory uh, we can look at the 0c value. So the 0c value in here is it's the second value in the block. So it says root bone x, 0, 0, and root bone c, um, or 0, c, which is going to be the root bone position y. Now, if we go uh, back to the table, we can see that in hex 0, c is two binary bytes, so it's 1, 1, 0, 0. So we don't know if it's bit flags or if, if, it's, if it's constraints or something like that. But um, let's just take 0, c. So one less than 0, c is going to be 0, b, and one more than 0, c is going to be 0, d. So we can just kind of go in and add some values in here. So uh, replace 0, b, just to make it smaller. Um, if we go back and reload it, uh, Shamuk just kind of starts floating, so that's one less. Now if we go undo, hit re uh, replace, 0D, hit F4, um, and then this time he starts bending forward. So we have one more uh, row bends back, we have, or we have one less row bends back, one more bends forward. So, um, and then let's, let's just comment this out entirely. If we take this out entirely, uh, what's going to happen? And well, he just explodes. So uh, this, the the fact that this even exists is completely baffling. Um, you know, when it, uh, why would, why would you, your, your animations are just transformations to a skeleton to make it perform a certain task. Uh, the fact that you have to put weird numbers in there to make it do a certain thing is weird. Like, you know, brushing your teeth is just brushing your teeth. It, this is like saying if you don't brush your teeth in a certain order that you're going to explode. It's it's just kind of nuts. I don't I don't know if there's some kind of constraint that you need the game to do something and then you would just hard code it into the game. I don't see what the point of these values is. It's just baffling. Um, so, um, and we can sign and see that, yeah, it is root bone y, rotate, rotation, counter rotation, like I have, and this is position, so, uh, what's, what's, what's going on with the position that, that he walks backwards and flips around like that, so I've, I really have honestly no idea what, what black two affects at all, so let's just go ahead and put that back, let's ignore it for now, um, and we don't really have a lot of hints. Okay, and then we can go on to block three. Uh, block three has a length of 0xc0, which is about three times as many bit flags, three times the size of 63, so it's not exactly, it's like three times plus two or something like that. So it doesn't match up exactly in terms of frame length and, uh, fr and or anything like that, but we can just, we can just kind of start uh, commenting at values, just, just replace all these and then go back and load. And what happens is uh, Rio just kind of looks a little bit more robotic. And um, 
and just replace more and it's just still more and more very robotic um is there's there's just minor minor changes in its movement that don't uh look correct and then we can go even further and just comment out more um and we should go to the point where his foot starts kicking um my best guess for this is it's some kind of um inverse kinematics targeting or something like that because it kicks his his foot should be one of the few bones that are working on position and so it's trying to go towards a certain point and it looks like it's trying to go towards the root bone or something like that and then if we just go crazy and come on everything in this entire block we get to the point where he just bends in half entirely and we um, his head, his arms, and both his feet um, do this. So I think his shoulders kind of look the same. So it looks like all of these uh, inverse kinematics points are trying to go to a certain point um, and then not being able to do it, and then it just repeats it. Um, in terms of being like a frame index or frame timing, I, I have no idea um, because it's it's hard to tell if the animation is longer or shorter or anything like that or if this is going to any um, position in block 5 if this is just um, super confusing why replacing any of these values would would result in this kind of behavior in the game it looks like the game is trying to interpret something and pass it through the inverse kinematics solver thing and it's it's really just hard it makes it really hard to uh, try and interpret or solve what any of these uh, different blocks are actually doing um, so yeah that's that's block three uh, this also doesn't make um, any goddamn sense so uh, that's it for this video just quick notes and I guess I'll go on to uh, block four and block five and just take a look at those but uh, goddamn it